days. Well, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. I've been here for an hour and a bit. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, you know, I believe that things happen for a reason. And I believe in signs. And uh, something happened this morning. <sighs> yeah. So, um, Angela, the dog food lady that's a couple doors down from me, is closing her store. Um, she's decided that she, she can't do it anymore. Um, and that she's going to do online sales instead and all of that. So it was a bit of a shock because we all moved in at the same time. But I've got a hairdresser next door to me between hers and mine's shop. And they were looking at her shop to expand their shop, their salon. And she says, oh, that's much smaller than the other shop on the other side. So Liz came in and said, I guess you wouldn't want to move again, eh? I was like, hell no. And uh, so, yeah, so she was saying, well, I've got people that are interested in renting the other space and everything and blah, blah, blah. And then she left. So I went back and I was talking to the owner and I said, how bad does she want my shop? She says, well, I don't know. Why? I says, well, I don't know what the future holds for my shop. I've had a couple of good months, but then the other the other months are a struggle, right? So, so I said, I'm not going to leave you in a lurch. I will honor my lease, but if she wants the shop, I will offer it out. I'm just waiting to hear if she wants the shop. I'll be closing it February. I'll be out February 1st. Or by February 1st. Part of me feels like a failure. Um... Sorry about that. So, yeah. Um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time with this. I put my heart and soul into this shop. And... I don't know. Things happen for a reason. This came up for a reason. you guys are going to go good because I know that there's a few of you out there that are saying no you need to close the shop and <clears throat> take the stress off this was my dream having my own brick and mortar was always my dream and it just didn't happen the way I thought it was going to happen um, maybe if it was pre-COVID, maybe it would have been different. 
but COVID messed up a lot of stuff and maybe opening up a shop after COVID was not a smart move because the retail game is still not back to the way it was. The tourism game is nowhere near what it used to be. And this is a tourism town. So I think it was just bad timing. This was my one shot. And it didn't happen. So, yeah. So that's where it's at. probably still be doing craft fairs and uh, I think that things are going to take a different turn for me I just got that cricket machine so yeah I don't know I don't know I'm so confused were kind of stacked against me. <sighs> anyway, all right, I'm gonna go because, you know, not much else to say. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Hi, Yarnabies. I look like a hot mess. Sorry, but it is what it is. Today is my day off, and oh, don't, don't look at this. This is... <laughs> Look over here. <laughs> Don't mind the person behind the curtain. Um, so I I did a thing. And I got it in the mail today. See that? Yeah. So down the rabbit hole of the cricket world I go. Oh, I have been avoiding this for quite some time. Um, the whole reason why I got into sublimation was so that I didn't have to do the cricket stuff. Um, I had a whole theory behind it. But now I have come to the conclusion that although I had to fork out an atrocious amount of money, to get this started. I'm gonna hopefully save money in the long run. I have been ordering my decals for my t-shirts um, <clears throat> and I've been spending a whole bunch of money when I really didn't have to. Uh, so <laughs> I'm gonna try and make my own. I'm also gonna try and make safety eyes the backs for safety eyes, and I'm going to try and make um, velvet eyes. And there's a whole host of things that I can do with this machine that I wouldn't have been able to do with sublimation. Oof. This is going to be a massive learning curve. I thought sublimation was going to be a learning curve. It's nothing compared to what this thing does and what I'm going to have to learn. Oh, man. I've reached out to Jeanette from Masudi Uten and Crafts. She knows the ways of the cricket. I'm really hoping <laughs> she's going to be able to help me with this because I am, I have never been so intimidated in my life. Um, yeah. So I'm going to set it up. And we've got the computer here on the website. We're going to try to figure this out. Oh, boy. So, first thing I see when I open up the box. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Apparently. And... Whoop. I'm trying to do this. Oh, I hate that sound. Oh, so there's an envelope here. 
that's got all the deets and everything. And there she is. Oh boy. Okay, so it wouldn't be like me to not pick the most um, taxing project <laughs> for the, my first go, right? Of course, I have to challenge myself, right? Oh, you guys. <clears throat> so first, first thing that they show me is, you know, they have the project already set up. Pretty simple, you know, some leaves with your name. No big deal, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Sandy has to go and change the whole thing, right? So I put my spirit raven with a raven, right? Right. Okay. Well, the raven that I picked, <sighs> if you're familiar with cricket, there's something called weeding. And this little tool is what you weed with. This tool takes out all the negative space in your design. Right? You still with me? <laughs> yeah, check this out. Okay, there's my sign, my spirit raven. Look at this puppy. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. All of this all of these little spaces right here, right here, all of this, all these tiny little spaces, these white spaces that you're seeing here. I had to use this tool to get all of that out. Right? Oh my good Lord. Now I have to try and figure out how to get this off this and put it on where I wanted it without me totally messing up this whole thing. Yeah, okay. Now peel the liner off the back of the transfer tape, then cover your entire decal with the sticky side of the transfer tape. What? What? Okay. So I struggled real hard trying to get the decal off the thing. And then Terry, who, my friend Terry, hey Terry, um, is at my shop right now. And she has a Cricut machine. And she said to me, oh, that's easy. You just put the, um, uh, what do you call this stuff? The um, transfer paper over top of it. Push it all down and then pull that off and the sticker comes right off it comes right off the um paper that it's on and then you can stick it on i was like yay okay great so i did it and then i went to lay it down i did it crooked i'm a little pissed off i may have to take the letters off and try it again but oops wrong button ta-da See, this is, this is okay, but this is crooked. <laughs> Can't have that on my Cricut machine. So I may have to take that off. But look. Isn't that cool? Yay! I did it. And and look, look at what I got in my Cricut machine. Or in my package. Look at that. It's the little Cricut dude. <laughs> That's awesome. I may have to like, like glue him down or something on here. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, woohoo. I did it. 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 Okay, so I took this all off and I did a new one and I made it straight. <laughs> Look at that. I'm so proud of myself. And, oh, uh, and Bailey, uh, George is talking to Bailey. Um, oh, and I got 
a customer of mine that wants me to make a decal. Um, so <laughs> I found out that I don't have the white removable stuff, so I don't know if she's putting it on her car. <laughs> Bailey's getting fed. <laughs> So I don't know if she's putting it on her car or if she's putting it on something else. So I have to, I'm doing some research right now to find out if I'm supposed to be using removable stuff or regular vinyl for that. Because removable vinyl, I'm not sure if that would work well on a car. So I'm doing some research. So, but anyway, I'm having fun. And I'm going to probably get lost in this all weekend. <laughs> but hey, uh, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I was really freaked out. I was avoiding this like the plague. I'm starting to realize that the program isn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. I don't know if that's because I've been doing the sublimation already with the program and it's the concepts are kind of the same. Um, like the programming is kind of the same. So there is a lot more to learn, but hey, I'm going to try. And we're going to see what I can come up with. I can do um, heat transfer vinyl for my t-shirts. So I think that's going to be the next thing I do. Yay! So anyways, thanks for joining me. And I will talk to you guys later. Okay, love you all. Bye!